Hello people, welcome back to the channel. Once again, this is the last of the uh, Three Kingdoms Beyblades I have. Um, obviously, I've had two of the Advanced Striker, and um, obviously I'm missing the other two recolors f for the uh, Advanced Eternal Advanced Advisor, but we don't, you don't really need those recolors unless you're obsessed with collecting the whole, whole set. And obviously the other recolor for um, Darker Figgy MS, but they're the three hard, they're the other ones to ha which are really hard to get hold of. Um, so difficult, I don't know why they just don't exist, but you can get one of each colour right now on AliExpress and let's continue, continue with the unboxing. As uh, This one is exactly the same as the Advanced Striker released by, even in colour wise, the, um, the original one by Takara Tomy. It's in black, it's all black, it's exactly the same as the original one that came out, so if you've got a sticker sheet for this, well you're winning already. Hopefully I can get the scans on the internet somewhere and I'll put print off the sticker sheet, the original one, and put the original stickers on it so they look a bit more authentic and looks cool. The, sticker sheet, the stickers for this one isn't actually that bad, they look pretty cool. Um, with the red and the yellow, I'm obviously not going to put the face sticker on it. Um, but yeah, again, um, same parts as before, it's got the metal flat core, um, the circle heavy, attack, uh, circle heavy weight disc, and the advanced striker attack ring. So let's get straight on, we're getting the parts out. So, as with all the other ones, it comes with the weird movie sticker sheet. Yeah, obviously I'll put the symbol on rather than the uh, face. And we've got the parts. Should be a yellow rip cords this time, it's nice. Two again, two rip cords for all these Beyblades. Don't know why they didn't do this with the originals. But no idea. They just released one and they all snapped in the box. Right, let's try and get the launcher out. Okay. Ooh, a nice red launcher for this one. That would be cool. Let's get that out quickly. You can see, red HMS launcher, very nice. I don't think only some random boosters, or not even that came with this. I don't think I've seen the red, launch, red HMS launcher before. That's cool. So, that's that. And we've got the advanced striker part, so the metal flat core there. And as you can see, these are identical to the standard release for advanced striker that Skaratomi did back in 2004. And it just looks wicked. So, I'll get the parts on this, guys, and I'll put the stickers on. And um, yeah, we'll do a spin test in the battle. I'll be back to you guys in a sec. Hello guys, and we are back. As you can see, this is Advanced Striker with the stickers on. The stickers are quite cool, to be fair. Without the little samurai face in the middle, they do look nice. Um, as you can see, these have been coated with super glue and nail varnish, just like the rest of them. Use clear nail varnish, guys, if you're going to do it, obviously, as a given. Um, and it gives them a really nice finish, to be fair. It makes them nice and shiny, it protects them. And, yeah, awesome. Um, as you can see, this is the black original colour for Advanced Striker, so this is another way to get hold of it if you can't um, buy the original purchase. You're probably looking at 20,000 yen for a new inbox Advanced Striker these days, and you know, you got, I got this for nothing, like 10, 15 pounds. Free shipping on AliExpress, so you can get on there. Um, metal, metal flat core, awesome core to have, um, probably one of the best in the meta for HMS, and obviously the Advanced Striker attack ring again, very similar to Dronza GT, just without the little point. Um, good for upper attack, uh, generally an all round good ring, so we've even got these little metal shafts there you can see on the outside of the outer of the ring. And yeah, we'll get straight on to the um, test bin of it. Um, obviously the yellow version um, does come, I believe, it, this comes with, a, it's obviously a different weight disc um, to what the stock combo comes with. But um, again, it's nice to have, this is what the different variations have of Romance of the Three Kingdoms, they have different weight discs. And yeah, we'll get straight on to the test bin for this guy. See how it moves in the stadium. I'll save all of these Beyblades for battles, guys, so we can actually do proper battles in three, across three stadiums to see how they actually perform. And we'll get straight on with the test bin. So, obviously, very attack aggressive attack pattern, metal flat core. It's got good stamina as well. Just an all round, um, very good uh, running core to have from the HMS series. Quite difficult to find unless you've like, got it through random boosters as well. And yeah, and that's that will conclude today's unboxing, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for videos with all of these King Romance of the Three Kingdoms um, Beyblades because they are going to. I'll be using them in a lot of battles to come. All right, and I'll see you in the next one.